Right now, you are getting an all-access pass behind the scenes. This is technically called the dropout house. With Big Dawes, the viral influencer who calls the valley home. So this is where we bring all of our ideas to life. From the early days. It was called eating junk food in the gym. To fame, fortune, and a lifetime ban. How did you get found out? Uh, Dawson Gurley revealing exclusive details about his path to popularity and we keep it real. Are you rich? Plus, and this is what it takes to go to the Olympics. Silver superstar Michaela Skinner, from her early days of training to high highs, <laughs> horrendous heartache. I was done with the Olympics. And thinking her Olympic dreams had come to a close. Shedded lots of tears. A twist of fate. Did that just happen? Giving Michaela one final shot at gold. Also, a Valley mega mansion. So the heart of this house is basketball. Yes. That comes complete with a basketball court. This is like the arena. And a remarkable room, paying tribute to an all-time favorite. Join us for the journey that will leave you feeling informed and inspired. Welcome to this Arizona's Family Original with me, Yetta Gibson. Excuse me? Do you guys know where the nearest bank is at? Maybe it's you've never even heard of Big Dawes TV farm. or have seen the YouTube videos. I'm checking out the uh, Green Lambo here. You don't want the sauce? Um, here's a thousand bucks. If you haven't, there are tens of millions of people who have. Dawson Gurley, a.k.a. Big Dawes, is the face and creator of the channel. What up, guys? Welcome back to Big Dawes TV. Making what appears to be a really nice living off of creating these viral videos. Some crazy. With some brownies? Some heartwarming. <laughs> and some a bit controversial. We're getting pulled over heavy. And I was telling my parents, like, this is going to be my job. They're like, you're crazy. Well, it turns out his idea wasn't so crazy. Just search Big Daz on YouTube and you'll find hundreds of his videos, videos he knew people would enjoy so much that he dropped out of college and just went for it. Now, this has been his career for more than a decade. Dawson literally created his dream job online, gaining success with every post. Yeah, when I had 10 subscribers, I treated it like it was my full-time job. What was the first video that got you the most traction that actually surprised you with how many likes? It was called Eating Junk Food in the Gym. So at the time, I had maybe 30,000 subscribers. And I remember going to bed that night, waking up the next morning, and my mom called me. She's like, you're on Good Morning America. Oh, no. I was like, what? And I turned on the TV, and it was right there. Saw myself on TV. So that was like the first moment where I was like, what is happening? Oh my God, what is my car doing right now? Your daughter looks just like you. <laughs> you young whippersnappers are gonna let me play? What is your goal with these videos? Just trying to make people laugh, make their day, um, push the boundaries of like, you know, I feel like people need to have more fun. Starting out, his videos were more about he and his friends doing wild pranks, but now Everyone Big Dawes TV has about 10 employees, master content creators, and the content isn't just about pranks anymore. A lot of moments you'll see on Big Dawes TV have changed people's lives. During COVID, we were doing a video here uh, tipping Uber drivers $1,000, and there's one driver that had an extremely uh, emotional reaction to receiving the tip, and come to find out, she had just lost um, a child and um, so she left and I was like I you know I was kind of in shock when it happened of like how emotional she was so we set up a GoFundMe we found her got her the money she ended up doing um, I believe it's IVF or oh. one of the alternative ways to get pregnant ended up having a child paying off all of her medical bills, and she named the child after me. Get out of here. Yeah. Have you met the child? Yeah. Content creators with even a million YouTube subscribers can earn enough to make a living from the commercials that run during their videos. Big Dawes has just shy of 10 million subscribers and close to 2.5 billion views. Uh, are you rich? Rich? Depends on what you define being rich as. Are you rich to you? Uh. <laughs> Wait for it, we'll get back to his answer, but first let's take a tour through the house, the Big Dawes TV headquarters, a house Dawson purchased in Mesa, Arizona, strictly to work on all the videos 
for his channel. Dawson has also expanded his business and now produces online content for other companies. So you have a house that you live in and then you have this. This is technically called the dropout house. Okay, why is it the dropout house? Um, because we all dropped out of college and now we're here. <laughs> so this is where we bring all of our ideas to life. This house reminds you of an episode of MTV Cribs. If you're too young to know what that is, basically this is a tour of a really sweet pad. Seven bedrooms, complete with editing offices, prop rooms, different themed sets. So this is a bar. Yeah, a little podcast area, bar. Then there's the pool, the basketball court. If you make one free throw, I'll give you $100, but you only get one chance. Wow, that wasn't even close. The putting green, the mobile office, and a view to die for. Wow, this is fantastic. You can't tell me you don't come out here sometimes and you're like, wow. So I have to ask you this, I probably shouldn't ask you this on TV, but you know, anybody in a regular job has good days, bad days, some days suck. Mm -hmm. Is there anything about this job that sucks? A lot of things. Like what? <laughs> it gets mentally draining, you know, the creativity burns out a lot. Coming up with new ideas, like, you know, when you spend a bunch of money and, you know, time weeks on a project and release it and it totally flops. Mm -hmm. It can get pretty discouraging, but you know, I keep my head up and try to remember, you know, where I started, where I am now, and yeah. just be grateful. I've quit plenty of times. I think a lot of times it's good just kind of reset the mind, take a step back, but you appreciate it more. But I always come back. When Dawson and his team hit the mark, they nail it. This video, for instance, posted a year ago, got 6.9 million views. Also the reason Dawson has been banned from the Chase Center in San Francisco for the rest of his life. I can't go to any Golden State Warriors events, activities, not even their WNBA team. Now tell us why again. <laughs> uh, because I impersonated Clay Thompson. Uh, I just walked right through the building, through the security, so onto the court. For a while. I was, uh, yeah, I got to warm up for about 10 minutes. Uh, oh what was it? Right before game four of the NBA Finals on the court. What? Game four or five. How did you get found out? Uh. Dawson's answer, you know I got it out of him, that's minutes away, plus. And this is what it takes to go to the Olympics. Silver superstar Michaela Skinner. It's like very exhausting. From her early days of training to a twist of fate. Did that just happen? Giving Michaela one final shot at gold. I was like, I can do this. And a fairy tale ending no one could have predicted. Also, a valley mega mansion. So the heart of this house is basketball. Yes. That comes complete with a basketball court. This is like the arena. And a remarkable room, paying tribute to an all-time favorite. How much have you paid for a single pair with the most obnoxious amount? All that and more when this Arizona's Family original with me, Yetta Gibson, returns. We are back with Dawson Gurley, the mastermind behind the viral Big Dawes TV YouTube channel. What started out as a group of friends pulling off pranks and posting about it on YouTube has grown to a social media empire with close to 10 million YouTube subscribers. This success has made Dawson Gurley a celebrity in his own right. But some of those antics have gotten him into hot water with some other well-known names and has even gotten him banned from the Chase Center, home of the Golden State Warriors. Uh, because I impersonated Clay Thompson. How did you get found out? Uh, I airballed a layup. <laughs> <laughs> have you been arrested? A few times, yeah. Over your videos? Yeah, I think three or four times. Which videos? Um, one of the most recent one, uh, we went around in a white van with the black outfits and ski mask on and asked people where the nearest bank was. <laughs> we were just trying to make a deposit. Why would that be suspicious? Yeah. <laughs> so When you think about these mishaps, is it funny to you? Yeah. I mean... You don't feel like, oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Or was I mean, it one of the best moments? It was, uh, it was definitely entertaining. <laughs> Made for good content. Yeah. 
mugshots. You got a mugshot. Not actually on, on that one. Okay. It's been a decade of creation, experiences, and evolution, not just for Big Dawes TV, but for Dawson himself. He is now married, a father of three kids, all under the age of four. How does that change what you're doing and how you're doing it? Uh, it doesn't really change anything for me because I have an awesome wife and you know she's really supportive and she's a great mother, so that makes it easy for me to be a good father. Um, you know, there's a lot less downtime and creative thinking time at home yeah. for sure, but um, you know, not surprisingly, not a lot has changed. Yeah, well, that's good. So you yeah. can just keep having babies. Yeah, I guess so. We'll see. What about your kids when they start talking about what they want to do for a living? I mean, I really have no authority to shoot down any dream at this point. <laughs> yeah, so whatever they want. Whatever they want to do. Okay. I mean, for the most part. For the most part. <laughs> Got it. These are Dawson's YouTube plaques, known in his industry as play buttons awarded to his channel for each of his subscription milestones. So far, he's gotten silver, gold, and will get diamond when he hits 10 million. Now, back to that how much money does this YouTube thing really earn you question. Are you rich? Uh, I'm happy. <laughs> You're doing well. <laughs> You're doing a lot better since I talked to you in 2017. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm doing good. You're comfortable? Yeah. Okay, you're modest, I got it. When you uh, get to 10 million, what what happens then? Uh, more viewers, you know, and, and time doesn't necessarily translate to more money. They have to be active viewers, but it's it's a sign of growth. It could be this year. Yeah, hopefully, that's the goal. From a soon-to-be Diamond Dawes to a silver superstar, gymnast Michaela Skinner has had a roller coaster run in her quest for Olympic glory. As a child, Michaela had a love-hate relationship with gymnastics, even quitting the sport at one point because at the time, she hated it. Kind of at the age of 12 when I started the elite program was when I kind of fell in love with it again and was like, I want to do this. And this is what it takes to go to the Olympics. Training from a young age at Desert Lights Gymnastics in Chandler, Michaela had been working toward glory since she was just a little girl. That's where we first caught up with her back in 2011 when she was only 14 years old. All that hard work paid off. Michaela earned 11 medals at the USA National Championships and she continued working, training, competing. Her 2016 performance at the national championships earned her an invitation to the U.S. Olympic trials. But sadly, Michaela's Olympic run took a hit in 2016. It was really, really hard, especially when I placed fourth at Olympic trials and put me as the first alternate. And to just have to like sit there and maybe see if I'm gonna make it or not. She didn't make it that year, didn't compete, and the upset of it all was enough for her to decide to call it a career, and she started exploring other opportunities. I was done with the Olympics. So she thought. She started college at the University of Utah, went on with her life, constantly having flashbacks of competing, eventually reigniting that Olympic flame inside of her. Michaela started training again in early 2019 for the Tokyo Olympics the next year. The pandemic delayed the games until 2021, taking a personal toll on Michaela. I got COVID, then got pneumonia, so I was out for like a month and I was super sick. I did go to the hospital for the pneumonia. I was feeling really sick again, just after I was coming back from COVID and was out for another 10 days after being out for three weeks. Michaela pushed through, trained hard. I kind of thought at this point, my Olympic dream's over. You know, I don't know how I'm gonna like come back from this and my endurance was so bad. I went to the gym every day, worked so hard and I was like, I can't give up. Then the rules changed. Team USA would now have only four members versus the five it historically sent to the Olympics. So when we were waiting in that room, and they come walking out and they start announcing the team. He names the four and then I was like, okay, well, I guess I'm alternate again. And it wasn't you, you weren't one of the names. No. However, Team USA picked Michaela to compete as an individual in the vault. Like it's not part of the team, which is what I was wanting to do. Right. But, but it was something. It was something, yes. and I've worked so hard. The delayed games unfolding in summer 2021. No crowds, no families, no support system. A challenge for any athlete. I put a lot of pressure on myself, and I just didn't 
do the best vaults that I could have done. It was super devastating. Just went to my room that night and obviously shedded lots of tears. Michaela's Olympic dream coming to a close. Her coach and Olympic officials booking her flight back home. Packed up, ready to go home. But then the unthinkable. Simone goes up, gets the twisties, and Jade and I were just like, did that just happen? Like, no way. The twisties are a mental block that causes gymnasts to lose sense of their bodies in midair. And now, Simone Biles, the golden gymnast, could not compete, which led to the six words from Michaela's coach that she never expected to hear. They're changing your flights, you're staying. Were you in a state of, is this real? Am I having a dream? I just kind of knew how to handle it. I mean, it was hard to wrap my head that I was going to go in for vault finals, but I was ready. Yeah. I was like, I can do this. And Michaela did just that, vaulting her way to the medal stand. I'm so grateful that I got to have that experience, and I feel bad for Simone, but for her to be a good teammate and to cheer me on. Michaela winning an Olympic silver, a win that eluded her for years and almost didn't happen. Yes, I wanted that medal, but it's more than just the medal. It's the blood, sweat and tears and everything that went into it and to be able to accomplish something that I've dreamed of ever since I was that little girl. Like, I made it and I'm so glad that I never gave up. It's a behind the scenes question. What do people not know? that you've never said while we're recording. <laughs> I'm like trying to think, did anything crazy happen to me? I'm trying to think, I'm like, um, we were training in the Brazilians training facility and we had a possum rat. That I'm sorry, really, what? This huge like possum rat thing. I was not expecting this. Yeah, would come <laughs> out of the floor and run and go into the toilets and drink the water out of the toilets. I want to tell you to stop, but keep going. <laughs> And just very, super interesting, very weird. Now, michaela has got big plans on the horizon. Now I'm having a baby. This past summer, Michaela returned to Gilbert to attend the lavish baby shower her sister hosted for family and friends. I've been wanting to be a mom since I was like 20 years old. Yeah. So I was waiting for this new chapter to start after retirement. Are you done with the Olympics? Are you done? For a while, I was like, you know, never say never. There, there could be a chance, but then I knew I wanted kids. So it's no answer right now, no yes, no no. Yeah, yeah, we'll leave it no yes, no no. You never know, so. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Well, Michaela is due any day now. She's having a baby girl. Michaela and her husband Jonas have been sharing the pregnancy journey on their socials, and we can't wait to meet their bundle of joy. From gymnastics to basketball, a valley mega mansion that comes complete with a basketball court. This is like the arena. And a remarkable room, paying tribute to an all-time favorite. How much have you paid for a single pair, the most obnoxious amount? We are back with a jaw-dropping mega mansion here in the Valley, boasting a basketball court. Yes, a basketball court. And that is not the only thing that makes this hot home sizzle. It is 20,000 square feet and has one remarkable room that several stars have had to see in person. This home started out as just a move to accommodate Bret Hart's wife and their growing family. We said, okay, let's just build our, our dream house. And boy, did they build a dream. I hear that you built one thing before you even started the house. I did. And what was that? The gym. This is like the arena. And folks, this isn't just any old gym. This basketball court is just 14 feet shy of a full-size NBA court. So the heart of this house is basketball. Yes. You came here from Chicago. Yep. Does that mean you're not really a Suns fan? Oh, no. What's up with no. that? Brett is now a Suns season ticket holder. I'm a diehard Suns fan Okay, now. you're safe now. Yes. <laughs> but his love for the Suns may never compare to the Bulls, specifically legendary player number 23 and his famous sneaker. This is the Jordan room. How many shoes are in here, Brett? There's a little over 300 pair in there. Oh my gosh. Uh, full capacity would be 330. Oh my gosh. So we wanted to come up with the ultimate display of Jordans. Yes, he's worn every single pair. And you can't be a true Jordans collector and not know the names of each shoe. Well, I said the trophy rooms and the Dornbeckers. Every shoe has a story. 
Marcus Morris used to play for the Suns. Mm -hmm. he, he was playing for the Celtics, and I'll show you this pair. It was rated the second best pair on Christmas Day. And for those of you sneakerheads wondering where he gets all the rest of these kicks? Stock X, you know, that's the usual go-to. Uh, Susie, my wife, will get on the auctions every Saturday. How much have you paid for a single pair, the most obnoxious amount? Uh, 5000 Who's come yeah. through there here to see your shoes? Uh, Chris Paul, uh, Dame Lillard, Mikel Bridges. Uh, Kobe was here, but wouldn't come here. That visit happened back in 2019, just months before the helicopter crash in Southern California. I get a call from Kobe's representatives. It's like, Gianna's playing in a tournament in Mesa. Mm -hmm. can, oh. can his team come over and train? And I'm like, of course. It was amazing. Yeah, I mean, I bet. watching him run a practice and how he ran the practice and how he commanded the practice and the girls respected him. Well, we get to the end and his daughter's like, hey, Mr. Brett, can, can we go see the Jordan room? And Kobe's like, oh, we gotta leave. And I'm like... So it was a scheduling problem? No, 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 no. That's what I would've thought. And it hits me. Duh, Kobe doesn't want to have his girls come see the Jordan room. Really? Well, he's Kobe. Really? Is yeah. that why? That, that's the only explanation I could think of. Who do you want from the Suns to get up here? Yeah, I'd love Booker to come here. And your number one guy you want to come to? Well, it's Michael Jordan. <laughs> he hasn't come I mean, yet. No. So he's aware of it, but hasn't stepped foot in here yet. Exactly. It's going to happen, and I'm going to come back and do a follow-up with you, or maybe come here while when he's here. When he's here. Yeah. You're in. You get the exclusive. So cool. I'm sure you noticed Brett's attitude, his free shirt, and all the logos in his gym. This is a brand he created that promotes keeping a positive mindset no matter what you're going through. You can connect with me on Instagram. You're going to find more behind-the-scenes stuff on Brett and everyone you saw on this show. My handle is down below. We hope you feel informed and inspired. Thanks so much for joining us for this Arizona's Family Original. We'll see you again real soon. Action. If you make one free throw, I'll give you $100. But you only get one chance. I gotta at least get three. What? Can I get three You're chances? You're trying to hustle me, no. <laughs> Come on, I have heels on. Oh, I'm scared to ask. <laughs> <laughs> I got my catfish on order. <laughs> oh, look at this. Is the this shake, shake weight. Yeah. I'm not gonna ask. <laughs> I'm not gonna ask.